Here we are, Ant-Man Moto, about to do an annual event that I like to do, the BMW Motorrad Demo Day. BMW Motorrad Riders event and the Sam M Moto We're at the BMW event. Let's go see the bikes that are on offer today. K1600. We got the 9T. Oh, he's got the fast dog. This is the bike I. This is oh. the bike I will be riding. Some of your bikes are gonna, it's up to you whether or not you want to use the clutch uh, or try the clutch of shifting. I will try to give you guys an opportunity for an acceleration where if you just put your foot underneath the gear shift lever, stay steady on the throttle, shift, shift. If you're not comfortable, use clutch. You heard that? Some of them have quick shifters. I will be riding the Cuban Rider bike. an S1000R, another XR. Hey, we've got a friend here. Oh my God, look at his chain adjuster. Look at his chain adjuster bolt. It was completely backed out. Wonder if the other side is like that. Oh my God, both sides are... <laughs> wow. Both chain adjusters are completely backed out. Look. I'm gonna make him aware of that. But it's a factory. I like that little selfie stick he's got on there. It's got rear sets. Oh, it looks like it's been down on that front slider. It's got the radiator cover, like I do. I don't think it's the same one. It's got front and rear Olins because it's a factory, but these are manually adjusted fronts. Puig windscreen, CRG levers, he still has the evap canister on it see that mine's off the reason you pull that off is because it keeps the tank from swelling he also has the flapper that's for the exhaust valve that motor that motor comes off it's a very nice factory my idea was to get here on friday because nobody would be here but everybody's here that's okay because i got a demo ride set up for the 115 session and I'm going to be on a 1000 XR which is a, a bike that I would probably own I just wanted to get on anything really I'll be on the 1245 session so that's coming up in about I want to say an hour about an hour so we'll see you then on your best behavior so that means no stop these wheelies burnouts um, if you can just keep the room as tight as you can be but give yourself enough room to maneuver within the lane all right here we are ant-man moto about to do an annual event that i like to do the bmw motorrad demo day and this year 
Last year we were on the R1200. We were on that bike last year, the R1250 or 1250RT. This year we're on this S1000. And uh, S1000XR to be precise. This is the same bike that Cuban Rider rides, so I'm excited. I'll try to get a better shot of it, but there it is. We got her fired up. Took a minute to figure out how the hell to start this thing. You push the power button on and then you hit the starter button. Um, what mode are we in? I can't even see. Oh, Dynamic Pro. Good. This thing has hill assist, so when you're, you're on a hill, it holds itself in place. That's pretty cool. I'm not touching any front or rear brake. The hill is tilted up towards fast signs and uh, the bike is is just stuck in place it's holding itself uh oh don't be a new rider dude you can do it got a nice fresh battery a little bit chaotic all right we have a nice obstacle course to leave the dealership which is Woolies here in um, Marietta my buddy Tony works here he rides an Aprilia Tuono former coach of uh, I don't know some track organization out west out in California. He used to be a coach and uh, he's a pretty fast rider. Rides a Tuono factory and he works there also. I hear a giant plane overhead. Oh yes, we have the C-130 flying overhead because we're right across the street from Dobbins Air Force Base. It's beautiful fall weather. Gosh, I'm right behind the instructor, so my behavior is going to be very uh, subdued. All right, well, I can feel already how this bike would be a blast at the Dragon. If you go on YouTube and uh, look up Cuban Riders videos, wow. If you go to YouTube and look up Cuban Riders videos, you'll see uh, this this guy rides one of these things and really roasts uh, track bikes. He'll he'll take this thing out on Coda, and he'll roast guys on full-on sport bikes. So it's very capable. That's why I wanted to ride it. I just wanted to see what you know, what the deal is. Is it all that? Is it not? What's the story? but I can feel it has a very uh, easy turn in, light. It feels very light. Again, I am so used to uh, a motorcycle with a tremendous amount of torque and thrust. So anything else is kind of mellow. And uh, although we haven't really been able to get on the gas at all with this. I can tell by initial throttle input, just going slow, that it's it's a much more mellow uh, experience. Now up in the RPM ranges, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's a whole nother animal. I'm sure it comes alive. But down low, it feels pretty subdued.
basically just doing that. You know, if I did that on my Aprilia, I would get yanked off the bike almost. Oh man, I love the way this bike feels though, gosh. Like I feel like I could just go to town on this thing. I love it. Dudes. Now wind protection, I can feel the wind hitting my throat. Like this screen is putting the wind perfectly at my neck. I mean like I can feel it right on my Adam's apple. So this screen would either have to go up a little more to provide you with helmet protection or go lower just to keep the air calm uh, you know, to keep the air clean for your helmet. Boy, oh boy. We are deep today, man. Deep! Oh, I like those little carbon fiber touches in there. This is an M. I think it might be the M model. trying to let you go but they were busy texting what are you doing that that sound it makes when I go on it that's the uh, me trying to override the brakes. The thing sets the brakes. It has auto blipper and quick shifter I was just able to feel. Vibrations at the bars are is minimal. Again, we're going pretty slow, so, but it, it feels like you're riding an inline four. The brakes are excellent. Front brakes, they're, they're, first of all, the lever, the lever feels perfect in my hands. I love this brake lever. I love this clutch lever. These are great levers stock. I don't think I would change these at all. The bars are great. I don't think I would mess with the bars either. The turn on this thing, the, the way this bike turns feels so good. I remember the RT, it felt a little uh, heavy. This bike does not feel heavy at turn in, it feels very light. I feel like I could do a slalom course very easily on this, or like a parking lot cone test you'd be able to ace it on this thing because regardless of whatever it weighs it doesn't feel heavy the only thing about this bike is just that it's an inline four and I like V twins and V fours and cross plane cranks even though I've never owned one but I just like a I like a motor with character and inline fours don't typically give you that yes feeling. But I'm in love with this handling. I love the way it feels. I'd love to take this up to the mountains. That would be fun to ride this up a uh, wolf pen. This is the exact same route we took last year. The exact same. I'm just going to do this one ride because I mean you're really not able to, to ride ride these bikes the right way when you're just when you're doing this I'm spoiled by the IMS show that happened last year when they they would let us just take I mean I remember I went to the Harley tent and I thought it was going to be this setup it was the first uh, the first bike I rode was a Harley the uh, that new Pan American and uh, I hopped on that thing and they said, okay, we'll see you. I'll see right. you shortly. Good. Thank you. Woo. 
and I went, what? Because the bike before that I had ridden was a zero, I think. And you know, it was like this, you're in a group, and you know, they monitored everything. Went over to Harley Davidson and signed up, and the lady gave me the briefing like what that lady just gave us. And then she said, okay, have a good ride. You know the route, right? I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. She said, okay, well have a good ride. You know, once you do that, this just feels kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I'm just making an observation. I'm thanking God I'm able to do this in any capacity. I've kind of taken this philosophy in life of, you know, tomorrow's not promised, so have fun today. I think there's a happy medium between that and just grinding yourself to death. I failed to find that happy medium. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, the bar placement on this bike, the level, the height, the bend, the sweep is perfect for me. Perfect. I absolutely love the way this bike feels. You want to go to Daytona Bike Week? You can ride this down there. You don't need no stinking trailer. This feels like a cop bike. Just put some lights on it. This will run you down. It could chase you through the twisties. It can, wherever you try to flee, this bike could catch you. And the cop wouldn't even be struggling. He would just be like, doo 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 doo. I love it. 2023 BMW S1000 XR. That's under that little carbon fiber. You see that little M? There's the braking assist. It's assisting. Well, I notice on his bike he has BMW calipers. So I don't think these bikes use Brembo. I think BMW, or at least some of them, BMW has their own braking system. Ooh, I heard a little, little backfire on diesel. Oh yeah. Boy, I know with a flash and a pipe on this bike, just a flash and a pipe and an air filter, you know, because you, I don't know if the air box is restricted or not, but this bike just feels like it's just choked right on up. And you de-restrict the air box, get a sprint air filter in there, put a full pipe on it and flash it. And I'm sure this thing will just blow your mind. I mean, it'll probably blow your mind stock if I could actually ride it, but with those mods done, filter, pipe, flash, that's all you need with this bike. I don't know why they say no wheelies. There's no opportunity to do a wheelie on this route. Not at this speed. I was gonna say I've never owned a BMW in my life, but I take that back. When I was in the army, I was stationed in Wiesbaden, Germany for five years, back in the 80s and early 90s. While I was there, I don't know if it was my first car or my second car, but one of my first cars I purchased while I was over there was a BMW 500 series. The mark rate was real good to the dollar. That's back when there was Dutch marks. It wasn't the Euro, Germany had its own money, the Dutch mark. And when I got to Germany, it had just come down from like an all time high of like four marks to the dollar. So for every one dollar, you would get like four German dollars. Now it's like one to one. But then it was like, you could afford a $10,000 car and would only cost you like three grand. So guys were buying these like elaborate vehicles over there, you know? like like really nice seven series bmws that would normally cost you 20 grand and they were paying you know 6500 for them so that's what i did my first bmw was like i think i paid like 2500 dollars for it it was like an eight thousand dollar car back then so i did own a bmw for that short period of time in my life and i don't know what i did with it i drove the hell out of it on the autobahn and you know, 
on the auto on the freeway there you can go as fast as your car can go so wide open that car was pretty fast i think i had it up to like 140 mile an hour before but it was up there it was fast quick shifter auto blip oh yeah nice and smooth and you can do it at low speed too okay we're going to use this braking assist thing now it doesn't engage while you're moving but look i'm in neutral and now it's on see I'm not touching the brakes with my hands or my feet. That guy said you can go to this Indian dealer right here, a guy I met while waiting, and said you could go to that Indian dealer and demo ride anything, even a slingshot. They were one of the manufacturers that were at that International Motorcycle Show last year. And I got to ride the Indian 1200 uh, R, 1200R, I think it was. I didn't know a lot about it back then. Now I realize they race them in the Super Hooligan race. And so I would have, I would have probably reviewed it a little less harshly, but the bike that I got to ride, it was just really like, the front end felt floppy and weird and anyway all right and that was it the bmw xr and uh yeah She's beautiful. She is very comfortable to ride. I love the seating position. It's not too high either. I wasn't on my tippy toes on this bike. As you can see, it's chain driven. So you do have some chain maintenance that you would have to do on this bike. There is the quick shifter auto blipper device. I love how it has running lights down here. So if you get caught out after dark on a B road somewhere on a gravel road you've got lights on there to assist you um, it has a center stand so if you need to do some sort of chain maintenance or change a tire out there it's got its own center stand uh, plenty of luggage in the back obviously and room for a top case here or something else um, I like the way it sounded too. It, it, as you can see, it comes with an Akrapovic exhaust. It is a slip-on because you can see the catalytic converter under there, but it sounded really good. I liked the stock sound of this bike. Um, I was very pleased with it. So yeah, Ant-Man Moto, demo riding bikes. I don't know if I'm gonna stay and do any more. 